بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم and welcome dear students I hope you are all doing well dear students today we will start history as story from unit 3 London on page number 2062 so here is the story of the great fire of fire written over 300 years after it happened this part of the story starts after the fire had started at two o'clock in the morning in the shop of mr Ferner Ferner's the baker in pudding land so dear students this lesson is the whole story about the Great Fire of London. The Great Fire of London, paragraph 1. By morning, the whole street was ablaze, cellars packed with fuel, barrels of pitch, and winter supplies of tallow exploded, throwing burning clouds of metal high into the air and showering the streets with ties. Families in the path of the fire began to bundle their belongings together into chests and bags and to move their children out of doors. Here and there, gangs of men banded together to fight the fire, but all they had were buckets of water. They might as well have spat on the flames. King Charles II, looking out over London, he saw the daylight choked by a rising mass of black smoke. Tell the Lord Mayor he may have all the soldiers he needs. So, dear students, first of all, there are meanings of difficult words. A blaze means burning firstly. Cellars mean basement. Barrels mean cylinder or container. Cylindrical container. Pitch mean black. Sticky substance. Tallow means an animal oil used as lubricant. Floods mean a lump of earth or clay. Vertel mean material for construction. Bundle mean collection of goods. Gangs mean groups, a group of men. Bandit mean united. Spat mean a piece of cloth. Choke mean stopped. So dear students, by the morning, the whole city or the, the street got fire and it was burning firstly and the basements basements filled with the barrels of pitch supplies of tallow exploded in the result of fire and it was throwing the lump, the lump of the construction material high into the air and the streets were showered with tiles the families began to collect their goods during the fire and they were moving their children out of their doors. Everywhere groups of men were busy to fight the fire but they only have buckets of water and they might have tried to stop the fire with a spat. Then King Charles too was looking 
at the city of London and he saw that a rising mass of black smoke had stopped the daylight. He ordered the Lord Mayor that he may have all the soldiers he needs to stop the fire from spreading further. Paragraph 2 on page 63 How did it begin? Was all the Lord Mayor wanted to know? Who's to blame? Foreigners? People told him. Fire raisers? Revolutionaries? Mr. Ferner, the baker, was summoned to tell what he knew of the fire. Anxious that no one should blame him, he remembered mysterious suspicious circumstances the fire starting far from the bread oven for no good reason and it had spread so fast and so far there must have been arsonists operating all over the city people powerless to stop the fire turned their energies to finding the culprits a Frenchman was knocked down with an iron bar for the crime of being born. A woman holding her apron gathered up in front of her was set upon by a mob screaming, Look, look, she has fireballs hidden in her apron. She is carrying fireballs. Arsonist, the woman sprawled senseless in the open drain and a dozen fluffy yellow cheeks scattered out of her apron and ran chipping hither and thither. So the Lord Premier wanted to know that how the fire began. People told him that they were foreigners and some people told him that the fire raisers were the revolutionaries and the baker Mr. Ferner was summoned to tell what he knew of the fire and he was worried that no one should blame him he remembered strange and a doubtful situation that the fire started from the bread oven for no good reason and it has spread so far and so fast and there must have culprits operating all over the city so the people people were powerless to stop the fire but they turned their all their energies to find the culprits who raises the fire then a Frenchman was knocked down because he was a foreigner and a woman holding uh, uh, her apron gathered up in front of her was noticed by a crowd of people and they screamed that look look she has fireballs hidden in her apron she is carrying fireballs she is the culprit the arsonist and the woman sits senseless and a dozen of fluffy yellow cheeks scattered out or moved out of her apron and they ran in various directions. So the meaning of diff difficult words are anxious, feeling or showing worry, mysterious, strange, suspicious, doubtful, astron arsonists, Culprits, apron, a pinafore or a protective cloth, mob, a crowd, arsonist, culprit, drain, dry, scattered, move off, hither and thither, here and there or in various directions. At last, the indecisive Lord Mayor gave permission for a firebreak to be made. The soldiers were bill hooks. With bill hooks, began pulling apart whole streets of 
houses while the householders screamed prayers and abuse and clutched their children clothes or dragged their furniture clear of the tumbling masonry but it was too late the fire leaped their fire break a surf of sparks spilling onward to set alight wash lines hay carts and more thatches so the meaning of the difficult words first so bill hooks means a tool with a sticky shaped blade clutched mean grasp tightly drag mean pulled tumbling masonry falling stones leaped jumped fire break an obstacle to stop the spread of fire surf a mass or a line wash line a strong cord for hanging wet cloths on while they dry then there were hair cards and tatches tatches means covered roof or a roof or building covered with straw or a similar material so dear students when the lord mayor did not come to a decision he permitted for a break fire to be made and the soldiers with bill hooks again pulling apart the whole street of whole streets of houses and the ho- householders screamed prayers and they abused them and they grasped their children tightly and dragged their furniture that was clear of the falling stones but it was too late the fire jumped up their fire break and a mass mass of sparks spilled towards to set a light to get off the cord for hanging wet cloths and the hair cards and and the roofs those were covered with the straw so the students everything got fire and it was too late the people and the householders screamed and they abused the soldier and they grasped their kids their children tightly and they tried to pull their furniture that was safe but it was late and everything out there got fire so dear students i think it's enough for today and this was your lecture for today i will provide you the meaning of the difficult words and thank you so much allah hafiz